Boogie Nights, when we when we talk about Boogie Nights, I mean, was Boogie Nights supposed to be as big as it was? Did you did was that was that movie a movie that you took on with the expectations of this is going to change my life? It was definitely going to, it could have been really good which it ended up being or could have been really bad. We mm -hmm. really didn't know. Um, the subject matter was pretty out there. Um, the only other thing that was even kind of in the same uh, box that you could comp it to was Showgirls, which ended up being a disaster. Mm -hmm. But Paul had, um, had the movie Heart Eight, which people were really enjoying. And you know he had had some, um, some, some nice accolades off of that movie. Um, but it was one of those things where it was a challenge and it was crazy exciting. So if I was gonna go to really try to do something as an actor so far off of who people knew me from, from my musical career mm -hmm. up until that point. Uh, and it was also a challenge as an actor to play vulnerable. And yeah, because the character was very, he was, he was insecure. He had yeah, a lot yeah. of shit going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. He, wasn't, he wasn't this confident, he wasn't no. a confident porn star. He was a guy that was, that was no, troubled. He was a child. Yeah, yeah. It, it was very so, young. So for me, it was a great opportunity to just go for it as an actor mm -hmm. and take a swing. Word, and then word. by the time we finished that movie, I was like, okay, we got to line up two more that are more commercial and do those as well. Just in was case was that work. a movie where, where you understood or learned the importance of trusting in the director? Because you're young as fuck there. Oh, absolutely. We were, both, a... we were both 25 at the time. Oh, we were having a blast. We kind of like the studio left us alone. We were out there just trying stuff. But then you had Bert, God rest his soul, who was in a bit of a... I, mid, I wouldn't even say midlife crisis. He was this having was, a this bit was of a possible. He was having a meltdown I was because this guy was the biggest star in at one the point world. Yeah. So for ten years, yeah. he was the biggest star in the world yeah. at the box office, and now here he is having to say things that he didn't want to say that he wasn't comfortable saying. Yeah, right. He's a porn director, so he's telling people what to do and how to do it. And it was just like it drove him crazy, and he didn't really embrace the movie until after he realized that. Everybody loved it, and he could have won. He should have won the Oscar. What was your relationship with Bert on set? You're the uh, young guy. Very much, very much. He always looked at me like a son. Okay. But he didn't understand that I was kind of in on the joke and thought that the movie was good. I remember him grabbing me, trying to grab me in a headlock at the premiere of the New York Film Festival. And this guy's, I don't know why I like this kid, but let's just go with it, huh? Let's just go with it. I'm like, dude, this shit is already a fucking smash. What are you talking about? He got you in the headlock on the red carpet. Oh my God. You got it messing trying, up your and hair. I, if I put him in the headlock, his hair falls off and all <laughs> kinds of shit. That wouldn't have been a good look. You know, he already had a little thing with Paul and everything. And he's, he was, you know, he was a guy who had an amazing career. And I, you know, I really, really respected him and looked up to him. Well, that's just such a, it's such a good movie. It's just to such a hard to. thing for him to embrace. I was going to say that. You got it. You said it, I mean, you said it up perfectly. 10 years when you're, 10 years and you're at the top and there is no question of who yeah. and what you are. And it's are. all just really pure entertainment, Americana. He would take the swings like with Deliverance and stuff like that mm -hmm. to show what he was capable of doing as an actor. But the movies, he was the guy, you know?